Welcome back, my friends. Uh, long time no see. I uh, finally got a chance to film a video here and show you guys a little bit of recent activity, a couple uh, pickups that I had from, uh, oh no, a few weeks back. Uh, one of them is uh, both these uh, 1903s here, an 030 and an 03 Philly. And these are for the Morgan set. Um, been real busy lately. July is really the time of the year where um, I'm just going like 24 hours a day, it seems like. So I um, just wanted to touch base with everybody and just kind of show them a couple coins I recently added. This one I got <clears throat> from uh, David Con Rare Coins on eBay. And I got a pretty good price on it. It books at like 300 bucks and uh, I got it for 220. The 03 Philly is a um, pretty common date. I mean, it's not the most common coin. These were also released in the treasury hoards. You can see it's kind of flat uh, breast feathers for a Philly mint. Um, common all the way up from uh, 64 and 65 but once you get above that they uh in superb gem they're actually really rare so i'm kind of right there in the sweet spot at a 65 let me try to shit one second try to zoom in here real quick not knock my tripod over okay we're getting a little better look at it now um real nice blast white coin no major marks, just kind of the usual uh, light rub you expect to see from a 65. Oh, you can see the breast feathers a little better there. I guess it's not a terrible strike. Tiny bit of toning up there by the states and uh, right above the eagle. But yeah, real nice example. Uh, these, have, these have right around the same mintage, the, the Philly and the, uh, the New Orleans, right around four and a half million each. And Survival rate is what the, really sets these two apart. <clears throat> the 030, this is one of the most interesting of all uh, Morgan dollars as far as its story goes. Look at this thing's great toning on it. Um, this was the king of the of the Morgan series all the way up until 1962. And there were less than 10 uh, mint state examples known before that date. And then there was estimated like anywhere from like 50 to 125,000 released in treasury bags. They were sent from New Orleans uh, to Philadelphia and stored there for like 40 years before they were released and nobody knew about them. So yeah, once they found all those coins, it uh, quickly uh, fell off the list of the, of the rarest coins, but um, still up there, still Still a uh, semi-key date for sure. Yeah, this one's got got really great color on it. Um, this was a heritage win from a few weeks back as well. Um, paid a little over 900 for it. Um, in this grade, uh, with this color on it, I think it's a pretty good price. I mean, I, I certainly didn't get no screaming deal, but um, just trying to break through that wall at Heritage has been a challenge lately. Prices have been so dang high. So I do have a couple other coins that I've won from them recently. I'll uh, share with you guys a couple of proofs and cool stuff like that. Um, try to go on here a little closer. These are later mint, uh, later minted uh, New Orleans coins aren't quite as poorly struck as some of those early dates. I'd say this one's somewhere in between. Really good detail. I mean, still a little flat on the hair, still a little, a little bit flat on the uh, breast feathers, but there are a few dates of New Orleans that are actually pretty well struck that I can think of offhand. I think the 83 and 840 and uh, the 990, you can, you can find real nice struck examples of those. Anyways, it's a couple of recent pickups to share with you guys. And a couple of little sideshow coins here. I've been picking up a lot of these off-brand. I'm gonna do a bunch of crackouts and I'm, I'm just scooping these kind of coins up whenever I can. 
just because they're fun. I don't know if you necessarily make any money on them. Uh, 98 O is actually a really nice looking coin in a SEGS holder. I expect to get a 64 out of that. Um, and these ACGs, I mean, these are really hit and miss. I mean, most of the time they're a little overgraded, to be honest with you. They got this one at a four. Um, I mean, maybe. I think it's a three. It has a, it has a shot for maybe. But it almost has a slightly dipped look on the reverse. So risky, but fun. So I like doing it. Anyways. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good rest of your day.